got a big event coming up January 10th uh, down in Bluntville, Tennessee. An epic matchup. Two of the most popular fighters in Tennessee are going to collide. Uh, two guys that I've got to see fight, got to watch progress. They are going to go at it in the main event. And let's get to, uh, I guess he would be in this situation, the away team. Even though he's from Tennessee, he's going to be kind of closer to his opponent's neck of the woods. He is relentless. Craig Johnson. Craig, how are you? Hey, you there? Craig. Yeah, can you hear me? Sorry, I thought my phone was cutting off on me. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> First of all, the big question, were you on the naughty or nice list? How did, how did Christmas treat you? You know, I, I did make the nice list. I don't know how, but... Uh... I did. I guess I did pretty good. I, I, I got some good, some good stuff. Now, it seems like every time we talk, you're training through holidays. Is that a theme yeah, of 2014? Man. That's a theme of my life. Uh, you got to understand, <laughs> I've been wrestling since I was 10, and in the sport of wrestling, you know, it, it flows through Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Uh, you know, so there's really. Uh, there's nothing new here. You know what I mean? There's probably been a handful. I probably count on one hand how many holidays, that's Christmas and Thanksgiving, that I've actually been able to just indulge since I was 10. You know, there's been a few years in between competing, but, for, you know, uh, so it's just it's just, uh, it's just another day for me. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I'm fairly disciplined and, and everything, so it's not difficult. Um, you know, it's just not that difficult Man. for me. I'm used to it. My hat's off to you for that. I don't know. There's just too many temptations. How do you stay so disciplined? Like, it, you it, got to break over of, a little bit. Uh, a little bit, yeah. I, I, the thing is, sometimes I allow myself to uh, just sample a little bit, but not overindulge. You know, you, you can you can sample a little. If you're working hard, you're training hard, you can have little cheat meals and little, you know, just sample uh, a little bit of everything. You know what I mean? You can you can have a little bit, but you just you got to know where that limit is and not cross it. That's the key, you know. Because if you don't allow yourself any, uh, anything, any, any enjoyment, any indulgence, uh, then you're probably going to break at some point. So you just give yourself a little break here and there, you know. Looking back, uh, as we close out the year 2014, one of the busiest years for you. The last couple years have been uh, been super busy. Uh, you know, you you had your ups and downs. What what's your biggest takeaway? from the year that we're about to say goodbye to? Uh, you know what? I don't really think in terms of this year, that year, this, that, and the other. Look, here's the thing. Right now, uh, you're going to see, you know, I don't like making promises and things like that, but uh, some big changes just happened for me. Not Just in my mentality and in my approach to training and in my approach to, uh, it's kind of like, uh, I guess over the last little bit here, I've, I've kind of lost a little bit of my edge, I guess you could say. And uh, uh, there's a few things I've been doing to uh, to get that back. So uh, you're going to see the result of that on January 10th. Now, we're the same age, and I, I know as the years pile up, uh, I definitely look at things different. Talk to me about, like, your mental preparation, because at this point in your life, I feel like your, your physical uh, – regimen is probably pretty solid like you know you know what your body's saying to you you know how to to work it but what's your mental preparation like well you know it does bother me sometimes when i think about it and i think you know actually i'll be i'll be 35 the night of the fight that's actually my birthday so um it's it's it, the age thing does kind of get into my head a little bit but i, I just really uh you know i'm realizing that really the age is what has slowed me down a little bit over the past a year or so, it's, it's the mental, like you, you know, like you speak of, the mental aspect. I kind of let some uh, doubt creep in, and I got away from from kind of my roots as far as as far as what got me, um, you know, to a solid amateur, uh, uh, some solid amateur credentials, and, and you know, I kind of fell away from from my wrestling really. And uh, it's not so much that my wrestling technique or my wrestling abilities went away. It's the mentality that comes with wrestling and the confidence that comes with training and, and, be, and being involved in wrestling. You know, uh, when I first started, it, it was that mentality that came from my years of training and wrestling and, and, and being a wrestler, just the, the mental toughness, the, the work ethic, the just pushing forward. 
no matter what, uh, that kind of slowly declined. I think it's not that I meant for that to happen. It just kind of happened, you know, and uh, we've been doing a lot of uh, wrestling prep, prep in preparation for this fight. Not not because I want to out wrestle the guy, but because of the mentality that I get from wrestling and the uh, the edge that it gives me mentally, and it's helping my overall aggression levels when, when I'm training. And it, you're going to see the uh, the the uh, I guess the uh, the moving forward attacking style that that was more prevalent in my amateur days and in my early pro days. It, you know, and I think a lot of that has to do with with wrestling. I don't think we were really missing out on anything in training. I think Gene does a good job of preparing us, but at the end of the day, I think. I got away from wrestling a little too much, just pushed it aside and said, you know, I need to really work on these other areas. So I kind of neglected that. You're going to see, you know, see what, you know, what that's doing for me. And uh, you'll see a difference in, in the way I fight. There's no guarantee of, of winning and losing and things like that and anything in between, but you will see uh, a difference. You've been in some big fights uh, throughout your career, but I feel like this is a huge fight, especially for the state of Tennessee. You know, you have a strong fan base. Adam has a strong fan base. You're kind of going into his backyard, or at least, I, I guess, closer to him than yeah. uh, the. Uh, what, what's your? I mean, this kicking off the year, Adam Townsend. You know, he's on a roll. Uh, you know, you just won your last fight. What? What? When this fight was made, and I saw you, you guys square off in the cage uh, after your fight. What? I mean, walk me through this. Uh, your mindset in taking this fight, and he's coming up to what, 170 pounds to, to, to take it? Yeah, yeah, that's that's where we're at now. Uh, originally, I think we were going to do, we do a catch weight, but uh, they asked if I would uh, go to 70, uh, actually just I think yesterday, and, you know, there's no, there was no hesitation on my part, <laughs> of, you know, in going, you know, I wanted, I really benefit from, from it being at 70, you know, that, that extra cut, you know, you start getting below 70, it gets a little difficult. Uh, my last trip to, you know, the trip to Atlantic City, New Jersey, I had a really, really, really tough weight cut there, and it absolutely affected my performance. Not to say, not to take anything away from my opponent, he, he, he did, he did, uh, you know, he did what he had to do and and everything. But uh, I just really, that's a tough cut. So, so yeah, we're at 70, and and uh, yeah, I just think it's going to be a, it's going to be a barn burner. When you look at Townsend, you know, and uh, how does he stack up against some of the other opponents you have? You know, at 155, you know, you talked about uh, Paul Felder, uh, who's going to be fighting, you know, ne- this Saturday. Uh, Kevin Ferrant, tough guy. Uh, mm-hmm. And, of course, you've had some – you fought some tough guys that didn't go your way when when they probably should have. Wade Johnson was, was a tough fight. I can remember yeah. the Joe Elmore fiasco that happened. Oh, yeah. So what – I mean, you've got a just a ton of hitters on your resume. How does how does Adam compare to some of those guys? I'd say he, you know, in my mind, he's right up there with the best. So he's a tough, uh, he's a tough fighter. He's had a lot of success. He, you know, he went undefeated as an amateur. At the same time, I was undefeated as an amateur, and we were both winning, you know, the the state titles and stuff like that at the same time. And you know, we were just in different weight classes. But I always thought, you know, it'd be cool to to fight him, you know. At some point, and, and and I think now makes more sense than any other time, you know, because we both established ourselves and we've kind of gotten to a point where, you know, a win over either one of us, a win over the other is gonna is going to uh, mean something, you know, and and it's gonna hope, hopefully boost our career a little bit. So, you know, it makes sense, and it's a, I know it's gonna be an entertaining fight for the fans, and you know, um, you know, it's just yeah, like I said, it's a it's a, it's a great matchup, and he stacks right up there with some of the best. So I, I'll take him extremely serious, and you know, uh, training's going really well. Um, I'm not gonna go get carried away and talk about how this is the best training I've ever done, or this and that, all that cliche stuff, because I'm not really into that. But it's going well, and we're definitely prepared. The fight's so early in 2015; it leaves a lot of time afterwards of, of oh, yeah. you know, pretty much a clean slate. Uh, following that, you know, like I said, last two years you've been extremely active. Are you looking to keep up that pace in the new year? Yeah, I think I, I think so. You know, we need to get this this fight. You know, I'm not looking past, past this fight uh, much at all. I'm just, you know, like I said, we're we're dialed in. We're about a week and a half out, um, getting a lot of the heavy heavy sparring and stuff. We're, we're finishing up this week, and uh, I feel like I'm in, you know definitely prepared for this thing. And then, 
yeah, I want to I want to move forward and, and fight. I mean, like I said, I'm going to be 35 uh, January the 10th. So, you know, I, I'm not getting to the point where it's time to hang up the gloves. But, you know, I need to do something, you know. And this year, if we can stay busy and, and have some success and, you know, I've, I've just – just crossed a couple of huge hurdles in my mentality and my in my uh, mental preparation and my training. Uh, I think that you're going to see, uh, you know, the best version of me this year, and that's what it's going to take for me to get to the next level. I can't just keep going through the motions. You know what I mean? I got a little complacent there uh, there this past year, and uh, that's history. That's gone. You'll see a different you'll see a different fire burning uh, in me, and uh, you know, hopefully that'll be enough uh, to get the job done. You know, not. I'm not trying to kick you out the door or anything, but 35 years old. You know, it's uh, the window for guys is so short these days. How much longer do you see yourself doing this, or do you, or can you see a time that you're not? No, I don't really see it. See it in terms of a certain year, a certain day, or this or that. I have a lot of things to accomplish, and I haven't done really anything yet that I would consider that being some something that that I could uh, call it a career on, you know what I mean? I, I strive for more than what I've done. So I, I don't know what that will end up being, but right now getting past that on Townsend is my goal, is my short-term goal, and uh, and it's my main goal right now. So I'm going to take care of that, and then, you know, we'll keep moving forward. But but not, not hanging it up anytime soon, that's for sure. What, what keeps you motivated? What keeps Craig Johnson going? Because – Correct me if I'm wrong. You you have an awesome day job, you know, that uh, in a career that that you've been in for a while. Uh, what what keeps those fires burning? Well, really, it's it, it's more than just you know winning or losing a fight. It's it's a chance to to be a better version of me, you know, and show my kids that if you keep working and you you know push hard, work hard treat people with respect and, 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 and do people right and just keep plugging away, you know, and never give up. Work Hard work is one of the keys to life in general. But and do all those things and continue, continued, you know, self-improvement, you know, you're, you can accomplish great things. And, and and it's not really about a win or a loss. It's about the process. You know what I mean? you got to enjoy the process. you got to embrace it and move forward. And, and that's how you get things done in life. So uh, more than anything, it's just teaching them that, you know. How are you going to decompress from all this, uh, it being your birthday and all, uh, you know, kind of missing out on all the fun of Christmas and the festivities of New Year's? Do you have something planned after the fight? Well, first off, I'm not missing out on anything because I'm spending time with my family and I'm still doing – Everything I would be doing other than eating the garbage. I mean, I'm still training and I'm missing out on a few little things, but I'm still enjoying those things. You know what I mean? I, I, I got my family with me, so, you know, I'm having fun with the kids and just running around being silly, just enjoying a little bit of time off work. But, you know, we're still getting the training in, but the difference is I don't have to be at work this whole time. So I'm, I'm getting a little more rest and playing with the kids. So I'm, I'm not missing out. But And you said what now, uh, celebration-wise? Yeah, celebration or just decompression from uh, oh, yeah. uh, from the rigors of training camp. Well, I think what I'm going to do is uh, take a week off, spend time with my family, relax, eat some of my wife's good cooking, and uh, she does uh, have a few things that she cooks for me on Sunday following every fight. Uh, so I want to relax, you know, and maybe you know I know it's, I know it's winter and all, but got to go fishing. So family time, fishing, relax, and watch a little football, you know. And take you know generally about one week, and then let's get back to the gym and get back at it. You know, I don't like to be inactive for too long, so um, you can't you can't really uh, you you really can't get too carried away over one win. You know what I mean? I'm going to be excited to, to to get a win, but at the end of the day, you know, this is not the end goal. This is the goal, the key key goal, key win if I can get it. But I got to get back to the drawing board. Uh, after I take a little R and R for you know a few days, week. I was checking out your uh, Facebook page and I saw a picture. I guess it was maybe your kids. There's some roller skating going on. Oh yeah, yeah. Craig, That's actually where I'm at Craig right Johnson now. Roller skate. 
Hey, I'm 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 not getting carried away because I don't want to fall and get hurt or something. But I can I can roller skate actually. I got they'll be my the the kids are actually better than me I think now. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. I had to walk out here and uh, and uh, do this, and I thought, well, I'll just walk out here in the cold and knock this out and come back in. But they're having a good time. Yeah, I I I, I can do a little skating, but I'm not great. I'm I'm good. I'm I'm not great though. I love it, man. I love it. Well, listen, we won't keep you much longer. The fight is January 10th at the Sullivan Center in Bluntville, Tennessee, Apex mm-hmm. 4. Uh, Craig Johnson versus Adam Townsend in the main event. Craig, as always, I appreciate the time. Uh, I will be there. My hotel room is booked. For, I think Kingsport. I don't know how far away Kingsport is, but uh, that's where I'm yeah, staying. I think it's pretty close. I think it's pretty close. Uh, but before I let you go, you know how we do it. Give you a chance to throw some shout outs, some thank yous, anything you want to say to, uh, our listeners and your fans. Yeah. Uh, well, first off we'll do these, you know, shout outs. I, I got some, some uh, new sponsors. I have a uh, summit cabin rentals, uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, uh, Smoky Mountain Jeep rental, uh, wrestler supply of Knoxville, just heart apparel. Uh, I want to thank Gene, you know, Gene click and great coach, uh, several of my teammates, um, down at fit factory, you know, I always like to make sure they get credit because, you know, without them pushing me, you know, where would I be? So uh, they get they get a lot of the credit, man, for any any success that I have. Um, iron sharpen, uh, hold out here. Iron sharpens iron. You know the you know the deal there. Uh, also, my family. You know, it's my wife for putting up with me being gone a lot, having to do more than she really should. Uh, but at the same time, you know, my kids because they. You know, I miss a little time at home. I mean, it's not a lot. I mean, I, I do a lot with them, but, you know, I try to make the most of my training because, you know, if I'm sacrificing time, I should be there. We're going to get some work done. But, yeah, that's that's basically uh, that's basically that. Well, man, enjoy the time between now and then. It will be here before you know it. Happy yeah. New Year, Craig. I hope uh, – have you made any New Year's resolutions? Or do you or do you I don't do those, do those man. I, I don't even – well, I – it's not really my thing, you know. I don't know. I just try to improve myself every day, and you know, if I see something needing improved, I try to work on it. You know, I don't really uh, not into all that. You know what I mean? Nothing against anybody that is, but it's just not my thing, you know. I just try to, you know what I mean? I try to hammer things out as they come to me. Well, happy New Year! Hope everything is safe for the New Year. January tenth, I will be at the Sullivan Center in Bluntville. For this huge fight. Until then, Craig, take care, man, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Hey, appreciate you having me on, man. Look forward to seeing you.